welcome fellow bookworms to Tibra's Den. My name is Whitney. This is Nidra. She's going to help me today. <laughs> and today we have my 2022 stats video. So I'm just going to kind of do the breakdown each month. I don't get fancy with this. Um, I just kind of looked at what I read. And honestly, the beginning of the year, I wasn't tracking like I was at the end of the year, um, at the beginning of the year, I was doing like ratings. At, towards the end of the year, I just was kind of enjoying my reads. So there's not like any ratings or anything. I didn't break down the genres or such. This is just very basic. How many books I read each month, page count, my favorite book versus my least favorite book, um, any DNFs, and how many books I hauled each month because I thought that would be interesting to see because I there were some months where I hauled an insane amount of books. So go ahead and go month to month and then I will give you the totals at the end. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for January, at that time, I wasn't keeping track, like I wasn't writing on a TBR or anything. I did go back and look at what I read, but I don't know like what I was initially planning to read or anything like that. So in January, I read 15 books out of I don't know how many. I just wrote down what I actually read. So I did read 15 books in January. Um, the page count was 4,165 pages. I did not have any DNFs. My favorite book of that month was I Rode a Horse of Milk White Jade by Diane Lee Wilson. Um, and then my least favorite, which it was a children's book, but the character was just kind of bratty. Um, and I read several, like, children's horse books um, in that month. It was Jesse Takes the Reins by Susan Sa Saunders. Um, I just, the character was really bratty. I didn't like it. The number of books I hauled in January was 17. So then in February, I read 13 books out of, again, I don't know how many because I wasn't doing an actual TBR then. Page count was 3,141. I did DNF one book. Um, it was Mother of Pearl by... I can't remember, but I'll insert a picture here. I didn't write them down. I just wrote that I didn't have to book. Um, my favorite book of that month was The Glass Dragon by Irene Radford. Really, really love that book. I still need to continue on in the series. My least favorite was Sweet Blessings by Jillian Hart. And I hauled 19 books that month. In March, March was a rough month for me. Um, so I did read 10 out of the 18 books that I had wanted to read. I read 2,577 pages. I did not have any DNFs. My favorite book, which I had actually started December of the year prior, so in 2021, um, was The Tenants of Time by Thomas Flanagan. Uh, that was my favorite book. I was most proud of it, and I really did enjoy it overall. Um, my least favorite, which again, I didn't really not like it, it just, compared to the other books, was Sierra St Steeplechase by Joanna Campbell, which is one of the thoroughbred books. Um, I just kind of picked that one because, you know, after that I really didn't continue on with the series when I was younger, or as an adult, by that point I didn't have any interest, so that's why that one one least favorite, and I did not haul any books in March. April, I read 8 out of the 13 books that I had planned on reading. I read 4,331 pages. I did not DNF any books. My favorite book of April was City of Golden Shadow by Tad Williams. Another chunky book. Things that I typically don't like, but I ended up really loving that book. And my least favorite was T is for Trespass by Sue Grafton. I did not like that book at all. And I did not haul any books in the March in the month of April either. So May, I read 27 out of 30 books that I had wanted to read. I read 6,973 pages. Um, I DNF'd two books. I don't remember what they are, but I did DNF two books. My favorite book of May was The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. I absolutely love that book. And then my least favorite was Codename Bikini by Christina Skye. I did not like that book. And I hauled a whopping 68 books. And that's not even the highest number of books I hauled in a month. So <laughs> you just wait. Um, so yeah, 68 books. I think that's might have been 
the month that I kind of uh, finished up my Nora Roberts collection. That might be why that number was so high. I can't remember for sure. I would have to go back and look, but I did haul a lot of books that month. Then in June, I read 15 out of a projected 19 books. I read 6,340 pages. I did not DNF any books. My favorite was The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. And my least favorite was The Seller by Natasha Preston. And I hauled 23 books that month. In July, I read 17 out of 21 projected books. Um, my page count was 5,967 pages. I DNF'd one book. Again, I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> I did DNF it. Um, my favorite from that month, this was a hard month for me, but I ended up going with Tiger's Dream by Colin Hook because I just, I loved everything about that book. But there were several others I read in that month that could have, could have won it, um, but that one just took the cake over all the others. And then my least favorite was Tell Me the Truth by Kirsten Modulin. I hauled 12 books in the month of July. And then in August, I read 22 out of 27 books that I was hoping to read. The page count was 5,933 books. I did DNF one book in August. My favorite book was Never Cry Wolf by Farley Mallott. And my least favorite was The Siamese Twin Mystery by Ellery Queen. Um, so my book that I DNF'd in August was Regrets Only by Sally Quinn because that was supposed to be my Q author. And I just, it wasn't for me. And so that's why I read The Siamese Twin Mystery by Ellery Queen. Um, and it was my least favorite, but at least I was able to read it. In August, I hauled a number of 60 books. So another high haul month for me. September, but August was my pre-birthday book haul. I wanted to get a lot of books I was really interested in so I could read them in September, which was my birthday month. So that's kind of why that number was a little bit higher. So September was my birthday month. I read 21 books out of the 23 I was hoping to read. I read 6,456 pages. I did not DNF any books. My favorite book in September was Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. Again, there was a lot of different books that I was, like, I really enjoyed, but that one just, I loved everything about it. And my least favorite was Nevermore by Harold Shester. And I hauled two books in September. In October, I read 36 books. My projected total was supposed to be 43. Um, that's what I was hoping to get to, but I did read 36 of those. My page count was 8,363. I did not DNF any books. My favorite book was Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And my least favorite was Dracula by Bram Stoker. It's not that I don't enjoy the story of Dracula. I really think it was the edition I have. It was just very plodding because the pages were really thin and the writing was really crammed in there. I think if I had read a different edition of Dracula, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. And in October, I hauled 29 books. So November, I read eight books out of the 17 books I was hoping to read. November was a very slow month for me. Um, page count was 2,341. I didn't DNF anything. My favorite book was Dumped in Wood by William Horwood. I'd actually started that in previous months, um, but I finished it up in November and it, I loved it. Absolutely loved that book. My least favorite was It's All Mental by Marcel Veritas. Um, it was kind of a spoof on psychoanalysis and it just, I didn't get it. So that was my least favorite. In November, I hauled a total of 101 books. Absolutely insane. Uh, December, so just, we just passed December when I'm filming this. I read 21 books out of 33 that I was hoping to get to, but I didn't include four stories that I read that were part of anthologies. I didn't count those books because I didn't read the full anthologies. Uh, I didn't read the full book, but I did read four of the stories from those anthologies. So I just wanted to note that, and I did include those in my page count. So I read a total of 5,097 um, books. I did DNF two books last month. I DNF Faithful by Alice Hoffman and Echoes Through the Snow by Andrea Thalassinos. 
Um, I just, I did not like the writing style. They were just really weird. So I DNF'd those two. My favorite book from last month was The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. I adored that book. There were some others that I really enjoyed as well. That one was kind of hard, but that one was probably my, it was mine. I was anticipating the most. I just loved it. Um, the, my least favorite, again, and not because it was my least favorite, if I, and I didn't include the ones that I didn't read in full. If I included the ones I didn't read in full or my DNFs, this one wouldn't have gotten my least favorite, but I wasn't including those because I didn't actually finish them. And so my least favorite ended up being The Mystery on Ice by Gertrude Chandler Warner. I still enjoyed it, like I liked the Boxcar Children, but out of the ones I read, like I enjoyed the others a lot more. So, um, and in December I hauled, and this includes, I did include the books I got for Christmas, so that's part of it. Um, but I hauled 114 books, and that includes a haul I just did yesterday that I haven't shown you guys yet because, well, I'll have shown it by the time this video is coming out um, because I'm going to include it in my December wrap up. But my mother-in-law and I went to a different state, bigger city, um, just across the border from us and or the state line from us and I got books from there um so yeah 114 books but that does include the 22 books I got for Christmas so so my totals for the year I read 213 books out of 272 for um January and February, since I didn't have a projected total for those months, like I didn't have an actual TBR, I just put, you know, the amount of books I read. So yeah, 213 out of 272. So I read 213 books for the year of 2022, which is amazing. I'm very happy with that. My total page count was 61,684. I ended up DNFing seven books for the year. My favorite of the year, so this was hard because like Half a Soul, I really loved. Scythe, I really loved. Duncan Wood, I really loved. So I was trying to think of which one brought me the most joy in the moment and which one, if they were all lined up, would I be reaching for? Um, would I want to experience again right away? And so I went with Tiger's Dream by Colleen Hook, which is the fifth book um, in the Tiger's Curse Saga. And I don't know, I just loved everything about that book. Um, Half a Soul almost won. The only reason it didn't was because the ending was a little bit weird. But otherwise, it probably would have won. But yeah, Tiger's Dream, I just adored that book. And my least favorite of the year was an easy one because I just, I did not enjoy it, even though I did read it. T is for Trespass by Sue Grafton. That takes the cake for my least favorite. And total number of books I hauled in a year is insane. I hauled 445 books. I don't have an on-haul number. I will do an on-haul number next year, but I have a box sitting waiting to be unhauled, but I haven't actually unhauled it. So I don't even have an unhaul number. So yeah, that is absolutely insane. The best month I had reading wise was October. Um, I had the most number of books and the most number of pages. So 36 books, 8,363 pages. Worst month was November. I thought it was going to be March, but November was slightly lower. March was the worst month because it was just a struggle for me. March was a rough month for me and that's why I didn't get a lot read. Where did November, I was just kind of enjoying life, like doing other things besides reading because I had such a big month in October. Um, so yeah, it's the lowest as far as eight books and then 2,341 um, pages. So, um, yeah, cause in, in March I ended up reading 10 books. So two more books and in November, uh, and I had 2,577 pages versus the 2,341 pages. So that's that. I did listen to, out of the books, I listened to 11 um, via audio, and then physical books, I had 202 physical books that I read. So, that is it for my stats. Um, I know it's not very in-depth like some people do. I love watching those videos. I find it really interesting, but it's just not for me. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of the general how I did. I can't believe how many books I read. Let me know down in the comments how many books you read in 2022, whether that was a lot for you or whether you were hoping 
to read a little bit more than you did. And yeah, because everybody's different. Everybody has different lifestyles, um, different obligations and such. So uh, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. Happy reading, everyone. Bye.